morning. I thought all those cheers were for me for a moment, but then I remembered Edgar was here. My name is Tom Hutler, public address announcer for the Mariners. Get ready for the 2005 season. It's great to see you all out here on a beautiful morning in Seattle. As we get ready for baseball, just uh, one day less than a month from today, we'll be opening that season over there against the Minnesota Twins with uh, Mike Hargrove and the boys. It should be a great season. I want to welcome you here this morning to this uh, wonderful event. First of all, thanks to all of you who have come out, especially those of a uh, way back in the line there waiting to buy your tickets. We appreciate that, and uh, we know you're not going to be disappointed this year. I uh, would like to uh, thank the City of Seattle and the Seattle Mariners for making this morning's event possible here at the corner of what is still Occidental and Atlantic for just a few more minutes, but soon will be Edgar Martinez Drive South. And I just want to let you know that, you know, you've been seeing some letters to the editor in the papers about the delay in unveiling this, and it was purposely done so that we could do it today as we get ready for the season, that we could make it a special event, not just have it happen during the middle of the winter, but we could make it happen today when the tickets went on sale, when we knew there'd be people down here, and when Mayor Nichols and the gang were able to provide us uh, with a nice, beautiful day like this, too. So that's why. And by the way... This was done with no taxpayer dollars. This was all private contributions for this event to happen. So we want to thank the city of Seattle and all those contributing for that as well. Many of you, for the last time, and the last time uh, that we saw Edgar was either on October 3rd, the last day of the season, or the night before on Edgar Martinez night, October 2nd, here at Safeco Field. Some great memories that night. Commissioner Bud Selig named the designated hitter award the Edgar Martinez Award. Our Governor Gary Locke declared it Edgar Martinez week. And of course, that night, our Mayor Greg Nichols declared that this stretch of road here would become henceforth Edgar Martinez Drive South. Edgar has provided us with some wonderful memories. He started uh, back in 1983 with Bellingham and the Mariners organization. This is the first time he has been in this city, in this part of the country uh, in spring since back then because, of course, uh, his teammates are down in Peoria getting ready for the season, and Edgar is uh, here, just had a new baby girl, Jacqueline Jean, with his wife, Holly. So we're here to celebrate and to honor those wonderful memories that Edgar has provided us all with over the past few years, 18 years in a Mariner uniform. We also have some other special guests here that we'd like to introduce as well including uh, Catherine Reynoldson from the Parent Project, the leading Duchesne Muscular Dystrophy Society and Edgar's charity of uh, choice today. Catherine? There's Catherine. Uh, Kate Jonkus of the Downtown Seattle Association. And the president of the Seattle City Council, Jan Drago, is here. There's Jan behind me. Also with us today, Dal Constantine uh, from the King County Council. David Della, Seattle City Council member. Uh, two of the gentlemen that came up with the original idea of Edgar Drive, Scott Sistek, who was unable to be here today due to a uh, personal tragedy and uh, was not able to join us today, and also David Crocker. Uh, Grace Yuan, who graciously donated to this project, and some of the other donors unable to attend this morning, including Ed Heffernan with Safeco Insurance, Mariners President Chuck Armstrong, who is with the ball club in Arizona, one of the Mariner owners, Frank Schrantz, also in Arizona, Joan Enticknap from Home Street Bank, and Sam Anderson, who is represented here today by Tim Atterbury. So thank you very much to all of them. We'd also like to, of course, introduce our honorary mayor, Greg Nichols, who is here today with his wife, Sharon, brothers Paul and Tom, and his nephew, Aiden. And am I forgetting anybody? Uh, oh, yeah, number 11, Edgar Martinez. I'm glad I get to say that a few more times. Edgar's here with his son, Alex, today, by the way, as well. At this time... It's my great privilege to introduce to you once again the mayor of the great city of Seattle, Mayor Greg Nichols. Thank you, Tom. Good morning, Mariners fans. 
Is spring in the air? Yeah. You betcha. It's a great pleasure to join with you again. You know, we all, last October, as the season was winding down, had a chance to watch a couple of pretty significant things happen with our Mariners. Uh, Ichiro uh, breaking the record for single season hits. Uh, it was a great moment. And being able to honor someone who has provided us with many moments of joy uh, and uh, enjoyment over a long and very distinguished career, being able to honor the retirement of our great designated hitter, uh, Edgar Martinez. I uh, made a couple of promises uh, last October when we uh, announced that we were going to name this stretch for Edgar. We promised he would be the first uh, baseball player ever to have an 800-yard lined drive named after him, and we've got that. We promised we wouldn't use any taxpayer dollars because there are a lot of important things that we need to do for people uh, with those dollars, and we didn't want to make we didn't want to have any controversy. So I want to add my thanks to Tom's thanks to all the contributors. I want to thank uh, David Crocker, who uh, talked about this idea as Edgar's retirement came forward. David, that, that was great. And, and David helped to raise some of the initial dollars as well. Thank you. Scott Sistek, who actually even a year before uh, had uh, talked about how do we honor this uh, ball player who has given so much of himself to our uh, community and our enjoyment. Uh, and unfortunately, Scott isn't here uh, today, but uh, Scott, thank you for your uh, work on this. I want to acknowledge again the donors uh, because uh, they made this happen. Safeco Insurance, who also helped to make this ballpark behind us happen. Our, our hometown insurance company headquartered in the University District. Uh, Frank Schrantz, as an individual who's also part of the ownership, uh, is unfortunately in Arizona. I don't, I don't know why he might be down there today. Uh, Grace Yuan, representing Preston Gates and Ellis. They were a generous donor. Home Street Bank, uh, represented by Joan Enignap, who is in Arizona as well. And uh, the Master Builders Association of Snohomish and King County, uh, Sam Anderson and Tim Atterbury, were also generous contributors, and I want to thank them for that. And then I want to acknowledge the Seattle Mariners, because the Seattle Mariners essentially matched all of the other contributions that got made. They recognize how important Edgar has been in the history of this team, and they wanted to make sure that we were able to, uh, to honor him. So Council Member Drago, we kept that promise. None of the tax dollars were used, uh, but we we're going to have a great lasting uh, legacy that Edgar is going to be able to enjoy whenever he visits this uh, ballpark. Uh, the street is going to remind us for years and years and years that you can be a baseball player and you can be an important part of the community at the same time. You can wear that uniform and get it dirty in a way that does nothing but shine respect and dignity on the sport and the community that you represent. And so it is my pleasure to join to join with each of you this morning in honoring Edgar and thanking him for many, many, many moments of joy and uh, entertainment and great sportsmanship that he provided to this city and our community. Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, Mayor Nichols. You've got some work to do here in just a few moments. But at this time, to say a few words to you uh, will be Jan Drago. Jan. Well, good morning. Does everybody have their tickets for the season? Okay, and I guess if you don't, the line forms right over here. Uh, oh, it's, well, and then, oh, and then it comes around. Okay. I don't know how those people got lucky. I guess they've been here. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of fabulous memories, um, I think that weekend in October was one of the best memories of 2004. It was a fabulous, fabulous, wonderful weekend honoring um, two of our, our great players, Ichiro and um, Edgar. And I'd also like to say thank you to David and Scott for their creative, innovative suggestions, suggestion, and 
little credit goes to the city for actually listening to the citizens and recognizing a great idea. Uh, and I think it's testimony to how people feel about Edgar, seeing the people here today and thinking about how our, our children will know Edgar, but how our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren in decades to come may not know, but will see that sign and say, who was Edgar Martinez? And I think that is the lasting long-term legacy. That's actually how I found out who Royal Brome was. I knew there was a street, but I had no idea who he was until I asked the question. So it is a great, great um, honor and privilege to again be able to say on behalf of the citizens of Seattle, thank you for the years that you've spent in Seattle, and we are so happy that you will continue on to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Jan Drago. Of course, Edgar has been known not for only what he done on, has done on the field, but for what he has done off the field as well. His incredible work with his family to, the, to various charities, and of course was honored at, at, during the World Series in 2004 as the winner of the Roberto Clemente Award, one of the most prestigious honors in baseball. And at this time, on behalf of one of Edgar's favorite charities, Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy, We'd like to ask Mayor Greg Nichols once again to come up here with a special presentation. Tom, I'm going to ask uh, Catherine Reynoldson to join me up here. You know, Edgar was uh, a threat in a lot of different ways on the uh, baseball uh, diamond. Not necessarily stealing bases, but uh, <laughs> he, has a, he has a triple crown reputation. He is the career leader for designated hitters for batting average, batting 314 for his career as a DH. He has the most home runs as a DH, 244, and the most runs batted in with 1,003. But it is possible, it is possible that he has done more and made more of a difference in our community by the things he's done off the field. When I called him and asked him if we could honor him in this way, uh, I told him that my goal would be to raise not only the dollars to change the signs to honor him, but to raise a little bit more so that we might also be able to make a contribution in his name to a charity. And I asked him to name that charity. And today representing uh, the Parent Project, which works with children with muscular dystrophy, is Catherine Reynoldson. They do great work, particularly for kids with Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy. They do lobbying, they do education, they do research, so that someday we can find a cure for this awful disease. Catherine, please join me, and we're going to make a presentation. The number on this uh, check is just purely a coincidence that it's for $11,000. I've had to raise money for a lot of causes, Edgar. I have to tell you, when I called and told them that it was to honor you and for the Parent Project, these were some of the easiest phone calls I've ever made. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Nichols, once again. Well, don't go away. It's time to do some work here. We're going to unveil the corner of Occidental and Edgar Martinez Drive South. And Edgar and Mayor Nichols will do the honors, and we'd like your help. We're going to count down. Not from 10, but from 11. Everybody ready? Nice and loud. Here we go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Where have we heard that before? Ed, we have a special uh, opportunity for you here. Right, where's the vehicle? Right here. It's a beautiful Excalibur convertible. We felt it only fitting that the first drive down Edgar Martinez Drive should be taken by Edgar Martinez and your son Alex. If you want to hop aboard, congratulations. We have a driver all ready for you.